Hi, today we're going to be talking about upgrading modems. I'm going to be pulling a modem out of a motherboard that I have setting aside, an old motherboard that doesn't work anymore. But just for illustration purposes, this is going to be what I'm going to be using. I will show you what it looks like in an actual computer case after I show you how to replace the modem. And that's what we're doing today. We're replacing an old modem with a new modem. Okay, this is the motherboard I was telling you about. This is a junk motherboard made by Gigabit. Uh, basically, the the one of the capacitors blew out. I think it might have been in a uh, thunderstorm at one time, and lightning might have hit it or something. I don't know. I got this off of a gentleman in uh, Altoona, Pennsylvania, along with a whole bunch of other computers. But anyways, I wanted to show you a little bit about this motherboard. This is the basic I.O. Uh, interface. This is where you plug in all your peripherals to. This right here is your CPU fan, the CPU fan, the heat sink, and then down below is the CPU itself. And right here, if you can see that in the video, is your north bridge. That's for your sound and whatnot, your onboard sound. This right here is a uh, AGP video card. This is a 64 megabyte video card. In my next video, I'll be replacing it. I'll show you how to replace that with a much better card. This is the modem we're going to be replacing today. I'm going to show you how to replace that modem and how easy it is to replace. Okay, so you see the affected modem right here. I've loosened it up just so it's easier to pull out. Uh, basically all you do is you lift up one end of the modem or any card that you put in here and then you lift up a little bit on the opposite end eventually you'll be able to just lift it out just like this and that's that's the modem right there ah, that's upside down that's the circuit board of the modem there's the pretty much the guts of the modem So I was getting ready to shoot this video for the replacement part of this video. However, I decided to do this one step farther and do a what if scenario. What if you decided to get broadband connection instead of having a modem? So I was going through my junk parts and yes I have a lot of junk parts as you may know. So I pulled out one of my old uh, LAN cards. That's local area network cards. That's for broadband. So right here is the card I came up with. You notice that it's a lot skinnier than the modem was. That's only because you don't need near as many uh, near as much on the circuit board. So anyways, to get started with this, all you do is, first of all, you want to choose which PCI slots you want to use. You have four to choose from on this motherboard. Some motherboards you only have two to choose from. But I think we're going to use the same slot as I did the, with the modem. So what you do is, you align these pins up right here. There's a whole bunch of pins on the bottom of this. You have to line them up perfectly. Pretty much it's very hard to screw up. Any idiot can do it. You just line them slots up. You push down once, twice, and it's installed. After you do that, you uh, throw in your software that came with that. You install that, 
and you'll be on the internet really quickly. Okay, so that about wraps it up for today. Um, I just wanted to show you the motherboard with the LAN card installed in it one more time. I want to thank you for visiting. My next video will probably be the video card. And I'm going to show you the difference between a PCI Express, a PCI, and an AGP video card. But that will be in my next video. I should have that up in the next couple of days. Thank you again for visiting and have a good day.